Hola nerd Migos, I'm playing Spirited Heart Deluxe and I'm very excited about this. <laughs> Uh, so just a little background, one of my uh, favorite games in this goddamn world is Long Live the Queen. If you've not played it, I highly recommend it. I've written a little guide on it, so I'm pretty serious. <laughs> um, I found out that this was another of the games that uh, Hanago have done, um, which did Long Live the Queen. Uh, this is just the demo version of it, but I got the lady version because ladies! Okay, so new game. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. In the faraway land of Aravorn. Aravorn, whatever. The magic is strongest when the moon is full. On nights like these, even the air feels alive. Ooh, it's moving. Ooh, the background's moving. Do I click? Okay. A shooting star is the sign of the birth of a beautiful new creature. Ooh. A girl with thousands of possibilities and life-changing choices in front of her. Is that me? Please say that's me. Oh my god. Is this a lesbian thing? I'm very happy. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, yeah, it's gay things. Gay things are happening. <laughs> oh, here we go, a charm smile. Perhaps a serene elf with long blonde hair. Elf! Ooh. Or a sultry demoness from an unknown dimension. Oh, shit, man! Oh no, this is like really... Fuck. Because like my... Okay. My always go to is elves because elves are it's just badass and I love them. But I don't know what it's like in this world and mostly when I play elves I like them to be like disenfranchised. Like I like the goddamn like fucking M -M -M Dragon Age elves where they're like, oh, they've been shat on for so many years. I like those elves. <laughs> um, but I don't know if that's the case in this world. Um, oh, wait, what? Oh, never mind, I did it. Okay, but. Then again, fucking human girl is ginger, so I'm kind of like, kind of want that. Um, but the sultry demoness, that sounds like it's going to be one, badass, and two, like, who am I kidding? I'm going for demon. <laughs> <laughs> Which of these girls do you want to see a brief description of? Oh, right. Okay. So examine the human race. The human race is very common in the realm of Aravon, and they're particularly strong and tough. They're good with physical, demanding tasks. They have less charisma and dexterity. So they're strong, and they're like, oofed. They're like, oofed, basically. Okay. Uh, no. Take me back to character selection. Thank you. Um, okay. So, let's see you. Yes, yes, yes. Let me see. Well... Thin and graceful race. As such, they're not really suited to hard work they expel. That doesn't say, like, anything about them. Okay, so basically that's, okay. Mm, I do like, I do like concentration and dexterity. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Oh, take me back. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. They're very rare, not often, that they dare to live in civilized towns. When they do, they typically hide their truth. They aren't welcome! That's the one! That's the one I want! <laughs> uh, guys, could you tell that I wasn't that popular in high school? Like, oh my god. Yes. Give a name. Oh! Nah, not Helen. Uh, it's got the word hell in it, get it? Um. Oh, I could do like... Wait, no, I can't be bothered. Um, a... R... Ar, uh, ar, uh, ar, arbin, arbin, slaft, arbin slaft. There we go. My name is arbin slaft. Not a bad choice at all. I don't think it's a bad choice either, friend. You've chosen to go to. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, I love this. Okay, so this is very long live the queen. Each new character. St also, the music stopped. Why did the music stop? <laughs> anyway, every each new character's. Darts with all skills at the value of five, but in the following screens, please choose your study location. Yeah, I want to do this. Okay. <clears throat> the farmers, a couple of peasants, you fa found you in a nearby field under an old tree. They decided to take you in with them and raise you as their own child. Living here will greatly increase your studies in stamina. Cool. Famous artist found you in the garden, tucked away in a gazebo, being single, he decided to raise you to save a partner. Oh, his partner, wait, what? Oh, right. He was sort of a <laughs> I like that. 
he was sort of a libertine. Uh, social skill and creativity at the expense of dexterity and concentration. Okay. General. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I decided to adopt you. Is it this choice? Your increased concentration and dexterity materially decreased. To oh, I have no social skills. I like social skills, though. The noble darling. Oh, darling. Okay. Um, I think I might go for artist. I think I'm going to go for artist. Fuck it, man. You spent your child- <laughs> Look at my dumb little face. Like, fucking hell. You spent your childhood watching your adoptive father create marvelous art pieces. You decide you started drawing early on in your life, and you grew up as a social and creative kid. At least you're raised by your- For your racial standards. Whoa there. Whoa there, man. Whoa there. Okay. But it's this kind of life. Decrease your concentration to- Right. Fucking. I feel like your dexterity would be higher if you were, like, a really, like- Persnickety art person. Whatever. Of course, your father taught you a lot of things about art and a little about craftsmanship as well. Thanks to his liberal lifestyle, you learned a bit about seduction. That's the learning seduction from your dad. That's how I want to be. Jesus. Uh. Okay, let's see. Art. Paintings, craftsmanship, making things, seduction. Oh, yeah. Er. You see, this is very true to real life. Am I really good like abilities to seduce and be creative um the social aspect mm, okay uh it's very right that i've not got a lot of concentration that's good all this is good uh i get to do it automatically appear. cool you can choose if you generate your character stats for a little bit blah 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 oh oh i'm reviewing a series of events oh yes okay <laughs> Let's look at some of the key moments in your childhood that helped shape your character during her early days. While wandering around town, you meet a priestess working for charity. She approaches you asking for a donation. You tell her that, sadly, you don't have any money with you. She asks you to come inside and take a look at what they do. Get to the temple. I, I wouldn't have gone in the fucking temple in the first place, mate. <laughs> so, I, like, I feel like burn up in there. Not my character, just genuinely me. <laughs> it's like I'm picking her nose. <laughs> okay. Um... Give them food to help poor people. Give them shelter and food funded by donations. And oh, I want to help her, but what can you do? Oh, I can make things for her. Craft some items. Yeah, I can do that. You go home and ask your papa to teach you some of the basics of craftsmanship. You explain that's for a good cause and he helps you a lot. In the few weeks, you'll manage to create a lot of quality items. Sweet. I bring them to the priestess and she's delighted. After a few days, they're sold out because I'm fucking great. My faith increased. God, where did I lost gold? Piss! Maybe, maybe, maybe. Walking the city streets, you find a lonely kitten! Kitten! You had to bring him home. Huh? Your father does not like the idea. He says that it's not a very good time for him. And you wouldn't have enough money to feed that cat. Yes, you fucking would! It wouldn't be expensive. Scold your father for wasting money in other ways. I feel like that's not going to do me any good. Like, I don't know what my dad's like. I'm just going to feed the cat myself. Or do I want to beg for mercy? Father! Yeah, I'll beg for mercy. <coughs> you pick up the kitten and show it to your father. Ask him to be merciful for a little cat's life is in your hands. He says the gods will reward him. Your father's not a relief. Oh, yay! I've got a kitty! I've got a kitty! You have to lend an extra hand at the workshop. You work hard to make enough to feed the cat at no extra cost. Your art skills and faith increase. But what is it with the faith? Your my health decreases! Below average? What the shit? Piss. Your father's latest friend is a woman named Kathleen, who also has a daughter. You know your father too well, so you're sure she's just another woman for him. But one day, Kathleen comes with her daughter, Marie, and the two of you hit it off. Am I going to bang her? They're of noble oranges, so you learn a lot of things about decorum. That's cool. Unsurprisingly, your father breaks up. Damn it! Looks like they're not going to your house again. Get back and... Ooh... Go visit Marie. Go talk to Kathleen. I'm gonna go visit Marie. You know where they live, so you decided to visit. Marie is alone in the house in the morning, so you're so happy to see her. You visit her every day for a while, but one day Kathleen catches you and forbids you to return. I'm sad because I don't see Marie. <laughs> My seduction haven't great. Of course it did. Of fucking course it did. Oh, you're a player and I like you, girl. Okay, we're done with creation. Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew sooner or later I would have... Is this me? It was obvious. The dissolute... Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, oh, she needs a voice. 
Oh, should I go? Ooh. I don't know. Do I go French? Like, I've got, like, a very small bank of things I can do. Uh, do I want to go, like, really kind of maybe offensive Southern? The dastardly life by my father could not remain without consequence. By going out drinking till late, he got seriously ill. Not even a week later, he was gone. I can't say that he was a great father, but I must admit I didn't want for anything. That's a really bad voice. Oh my god. Oh, look at this place! I bought a flat near Triburg, the regional capital, with all the money he left me. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but one thing's for sure. I don't want to end like him. Right then. Oh, ah, look how cute I am! Oh my god, I'm so cute! Relationship single! Right. Fucking excuse you. Brief tutorial. Oh, I'm guessing this. Okay. I can see my character sheet. Change jaws. General. Every week, my attributes and skills will be modified based on the job you're doing. Job-related skills will increase, but other values will decrease. For example, when work working in a farm could lower your creativity and charisma skills. However, at the very beginning of each month, some really lean skills can decrease in age. Okay. Faster way to increase a specific skill is pay someone to teach it to you, but the cost will be higher than current. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, cool. Try the game from time to time, you'll encounter some special events similar to theirs in the character creation farce. Such events can cr dramatically increase change your statistics. Morale and health include uh, like below average health for working a bit more. Like you fucking wimpo. Health is an essential stat for physically demanding jobs. For example, if you're in bad physical condition, like I am right now, apparently, um, you won't be able to move heavy stuff. Morale is required for intellectual jobs, like studying or painting. Indeed, you won't be able to paint or concentrate on books if you're depressed. Fair, yeah, fair play. Only way to increase the two values is to take a break from work. Cool. Everything has a price. If you're not working, you're not earning any money. So what's your budget? Whew. The game ends if you get married with someone. Oh, so, like, I feel... <laughs> I feel... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love what this is teaching you. It's like... It's like, the game ends, like, I will definitely feel like it's the end if I get married, or I reach 30 years old. Like, what? If, or special event. Good Jesus. Oh, fuck, man. 